Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we shall be looking at a past question, a statistics question that was brought in one of the NTC questions some time back. Uh, before we continue, please kindly subscribe, like, and share this video. Kindly also leave all comments and suggestions in the comment section of this video. All right. Now, let's look at the question. In this discussion, we are looking at the second question, that is 1B. The 1A has also been solved as well. So if you are in need of it, kindly scroll through our list of videos. It is obviously among them. Or better still, go to the end screen. Or by the end of this video, you will see a link to that particular video at the top of the screen. Let's continue. Now the question goes this way. The following are the ages and years of members of a group 8, 11, 8, 10, 6, 7, 3x, 11, and 11. If the mean age is 9 years, find the value of x. Now, there are some things you need to note of in this particular question. You get to realize that the mean has been given to you already, but there's a variable added to the values or the data set. So before we proceed, let's go to straight to the solution and of course look at the formula for finding the mean. The mean that is x by is simply equal to x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2 plus x subscript 3 and so on and so on till you get to the last value. Example x subscript n all over n where n is the number of data values. And now, substituting our values, you get to realize that our mean, which is 9, is simply going to be equal to 9 plus 11 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3x plus 11 plus 11. Now, regrouping the terms, you get to realize that we now have our mean, which is 9, is equal to 9 plus 11 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6 plus 7 plus 11 and plus 11 plus 3x. Okay, we have grouped all the constants at one side at the denominator, sorry, at the numerator level. Now, adding the values, you get to realize that 8 plus 11 is obviously 19. Then, plus 8 will give you 27 plus 10, 37, plus 6, 43, plus 7, 50, plus 11, that is 61, and then plus 11, 72, and that is what you see right here. Then we then add our 3x. Okay? So normally, solving questions like this, it is good you eliminate the denominator. That is right here. So what do we do? We multiply both sides by 9, as you can see on the screen. Now, on the right side of the equation, 9 divides out 9, as you can see. 9 divides out 9, as you can see. And that simplifies to 81 is equal to 72 plus 3x. Why? 9 times 9 is equal to 81. And our 72 is here. And our 3x is also here. Okay. Let's proceed further. Now, what do we do next? We subtract 72 from both sides. In other words, we transpose the 72 to the left-hand side of the equation, leaving 3x at one side. All right? And that simplifies to 9 is equal to 3x. Now, how do we find x? We divide 3 across both sides of the equation. And that lands us with the answer, x is simply equal to 3. So thus, we can simply say that the value for x is simply 3. 
okay so now if you want the solution to the question number one all right check the video above on the screen click on it and go and enjoy yourself thank you goodbye